Coming up on this edition of Able to Cook, the only show that focuses on, on um, cooking and people with special needs despite your challenges. Uh, we talk about the history of Thanksgiving food. This is part one of our Thanksgiving special, Able to Cook, starts right now. Welcome to this edition of Able to Cook, the one and only program that focuses on the needs, concerns, and achievements of being in the kitchen despite your challenges. I'm Lauren Seiler. On this, on, on this part one of our Thanksgiving special, we talk about the Thanksgiving dinner and the history of it. Okay, so the history of the Thanksgiving dinner of, of a contemporary Thanksgiving dinner in the United States, formerly called the turkey dinner, is a large meal generally centered around a roasted turkey. Thanksgiving could be considered the largest eating event in the United States as measured by retail sales of food and beverages and is an estimate of individual food intake. People consume as much as three or four thousand calories, I'll repeat that again, three or four thousand calories in one course of the dinner. Among <clears throat> with attending church services, Thanksgiving dinner remained a central part of celebrations from the holidays, uh, holidays early establishment of North America. In 2015, Harris, um, the, a Harris poll said that Thanksgiving was the most popular holiday in the United States after Christmas, and turkey was the most popular holiday food regardless of region, generation, gender, or race. Um, at Thanksgiving, Turkey is served with a variety of side dishes that can vary from traditional, such as, such as mashed potato, stuffing, and cranberry sauce, to ones that, <clears throat> that reflect regional or cultural um, cultural heritage. Given the days of Thanksgiving that resolve around giving thanks, the saying of grace before Thanksgiving dinner is a traditional feature of the feast. Many of the dishes, many of the dishes um, in a traditional Thanksgiving dinner are made with ingredients native to Americans, including turkey, sweet potatoes, turkey, potato, sweet potatoes, and corn, or 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 squash. Included pumpkin, green bean, cranberry, uh, uh, and cranberries. The pilgrims may have learned about some of these foods, some of the of some of the Native Americans, but others were not were not available until the early settlers. The tradition of eating Thanksgiving is likely to reflect the affordability of later Americans. Early North American settlers did not eat turkey, but, a, but the lavish feast of frequently um, described Thanksgiving in the 17th century was the creation of the 19th century writers that sought to popularize the underlying food, <clears throat> the underlying foods of all Americans that could share. The Plymouth Colony and Thanksgiving dinner, the, tr the tradition of the Thanksgiving dinner has been awfully, been, been often associated with popular culture of New England and the New England Puritans proclaimed 
days of Thanksgiving that, com that commemorate the specific events, such, <clears throat> such days marked by religious observances and sometimes fasting. Church records of the time do not mean to mention food or feasting, but being part of such events, uh, of such events. A, a single obsession of records following church services. In 1636, there was then uh, making merry to the creatures and a poorer sort of invited the richer. In Dece on December 11, 1621, Governor Edward Winslow of the Plymouth Colony wrote a letter in hopes of attracting more colonists. Then he said he described a three-day feast shared uh, with the Plymouth settlers and, and, and the local uh, Winnipeg tribe. Winslow sent out four men that provided a variety of fowls sufficient, sufficient to feed the colonies for a week. While hunters killed uh, deer in the 19th century, this event became associated with the idea of the Thanksgiving feast. In a footnote in 1841, Alexander Young claimed that the event was the first Thanksgiving and Harvest Festival in New England. In Jamestown, Virginia, and other locations, it has been suggested of the sites of the first Thanksgiving. One of the most, uh, uh, one of the most persistent advocates for Thanksgiving as a national holiday was writer Sarah Josepha Hale. And she advocated for Thanksgiving in editorials in Godly Lady's book, and in 1837 onward, Hale did not associate the pilgrim did not associate the pilgrims with Thanksgiving, but a brief mention in 1865 in America's Thanksgiving hymn. Published in the it was published in 1872, and she credited the pilgrims for being free to do and pray, and, and keep its sober gladness. The first Thanksgiving Day, um, the first Thanksgiving Day, Hale did not suggest that the Pilgrims' Thanksgiving included feasting. Other writers said they were less discerning, um, like Jane G. Austen published the first fictional account of the Pilgrims Standish of Standish in 1889. Austin described the um, the pilgrims after a year uh, of, of arrival as feasting on turkey stuffed with beech nuts and other types of fowl, boiled beef and other roasts, oysters and clam chowder, plum porridge, hasty pudding, sea biscuit, uh, uh, manchette bread, butter, uh, butter, mustard, turnips, um, salad, grapes, plums, popcorn, ale, and other foods. Austin, Austin's lavish description, disregarded by historical record, and the deaths due to starvation, malnutrition, occurred in the Plymouth in the Plymouth Colony. That that winter, uh, nevertheless, her account was extremely popular. It was repeated by other writers, adapted for plays and public events. Now down to the food. Historical menus included the use of turkey in the United States, and it it precedes Abraham Lincoln. Nationalization for the holiday in 1863. 
In her 1827 novel, Norwood, A Tale of New England, Sarah Joseph O'Hale devoted the entire chapter to the Thanksgiving dinner, emphasizing that many foods are now considered traditional. Although many meats are mentioned and roasted turkey, uh, roasted turkey took precedence on, on this occasion, being placed at the head of the, at the head of the table. Um, okay, at the head of the table, and well did it become the lordly station, sending forth the rich odor of the savory stuffing. For dessert, the celebrated pumpkin pie occupied the most distinguished um, the most distinguished niche and was described as an indispensable part of the good Yankee Thanksgiving. The White House cookbook published in 1887 by by, uh, by Fanny Lemira Gillette had the following menu. Oysters on the half shell, cream of chicken soup, fried smelts, sauce tartare, roast turkey, cranberry sauce, mashed potatoes, baked squash, boiled onions, parsnip fritters, olives, chicken salad, venison, pumpkin pie, mince pie, charlotte rust, almond ice cream, lemon jelly, history nut, uh, I'm sorry, hickory nut cake, fruits, and, uh, and coffee. A Thanksgiving dinner served of the Civilian Conservation Corps in 1935 included pickles, green olives, celery, roast turkey, oyster stew, cranberry sauce, giblet gravy, dressing, creamed asparagus tips, snowflake potatoes, baked carrots, hot rolls, fruit salad, mince pie, fruit cake, uh, candied grapes, apples, clams, fish, and many other foods with French coffee, cigars, and cigarettes. Sugar, among the other, <clears throat> the other commodities, was rationed in 1942 and 1946. In 1947, as part of the voluntary rationing campaign, the Truman administration attempted to promote poultry-less Thursdays and, dis and discourage Americans from eating poultry or egg products on Thursdays. Because Thanksgiving is always on a Thursday, this meant by turkey and pumpkin pie, two staples that would be discouraged. Pumpkin pie also contained eggs. The National Poultry and Egg Board furiously lobbied <clears throat> the president to cease promoting the plan, culminating um, in an agreement with the National Thanksgiving Turkey Preservation shortly after Thanksgiving in 1947. Turkey was no longer discouraged, but eggless Thursdays remained for the rest of the year, meaning no pumpkin pie was served at the White House for dinner that year. The main dishes included turkey, the most um, common turkey dinner point that Thanksgiving is, some, is sometimes called Turkey Day. Alexander Hamilton proclaimed that no citizen of the United States should refrain from turkey on Thanksgiving. And Benjamin Franklin had high regard for wild turkey and as a American icon. And as Turkey Day rose in popularity during the 1800s, so did Turkey Day. Uh, so did the turkey. By 1857, 
turkey has become a traditional dinner in New England. The domestic turkey, often eaten now, is very different from the wild turkey known for the, as the pilgrims uh, Hamilton and Franklin. Wild turkeys are native to the Americas and, <clears throat> and evolved by five million, uh, around five million years ago, at least five supersedes, five supersedes, sorry, five sub subspecies of turkeys are still found in 48 states, Mexico and Canada. Today, southern Mexico subspecies, um, there's other subspecies that also exist. And so let, let's get to the food down here. Okay. So the main um, alternatives to turkey. Entries other than turkey served at Thanksgiving dinner alongside the turkey are in place of it with the main dishes are baked ham served at Thanksgiving in many households, roasted goose or duck, Foods are traditional in European centerpieces with the Christmas dinner. Sometimes served in place of Thanksgiving turkey, Italian Americans may serve capon as the main course of the Thanksgiving meal. Irish Americans might have prime rib as a centerpiece since beef in Ireland is once a rare is is once a rarity. And it is known for prosperity and hope. Um, here's something interesting. John Madden, a commentator of the NFL Thanksgiving Day games from 1981 to 2001, advocated for turducken. Turducken is spelled T-U-R-D-U-C-K-E-N, which is a deboned turkey, duck, and chicken nestled with each other and then cooked. Um, the others, and the other end of the, uh, of the spectrum, vegetarians or vegans may choose tofu, seitan, or lentil based substitute such as tofurkey. T U, uh, sorry, T O F U R K Y, or, or serve vegetable based dishes such as squash and, and more considered sides. A vegetarian men menus on Thanksgiving date back at least to 1897, and they were discussed in the vegetarian club at the University of Chicago. Due to the impacts of immigration in the United States, the international approach to Thanksgiving become... Uh, become common. Basic Thanksgiving turkey can be transformed using flavor techniques and traditions from immigrants' own cuisines. And um, since we have a couple minutes left, many side, many side dishes are typically served along the main dish. Coffee's leftovers are usually common following the proper meal. Traditional Thanksgiving foods are sometimes specific to the day, and although some of these dishes may seem semi-formal in the United States, the Thanksgiving dinner often has a traditional quality to it, which include um, stuffing, mashed potatoes, uh, gravy, cranberry sauce, and, um, and many other things, including brown sugar, molasses, uh, Brussels sprouts, and cauliflower. And green beans are often served in a particular green bean casserole, which include, uh, which started in 1955 by Dorcas Re uh, 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 Reale for, for the Campbell Soup Company to promote it's used of canned cream of mushroom soup, and it has become 
a Thanksgiving standard. And uh, so this has been the second part, to, uh, actually the first part, this is the first part to the history of the Thanksgiving dinner. I'm Lauren Seiler. Um, for more information on Able to Cook or any of the shows that you've seen, you can go to www.orcamedia.net. I'm Lauren Seiler. Happy Thanksgiving.